Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And this one I wasn't planning on doing, but after just unboxing this myself, I decided to do it because I know a lot of you are getting the RTX 30 series. And so this, you're gonna need this. Um, and I know a lot of you are looking at it. And as you guys saw the title, uh, you know that this is a GPU support bracket. And I was checking Amazon and there's about three to four options I saw that were good ratings. Um, uh, this one is actually $12, so like a little lower than in the middle, but trust me, the quality is so good. And uh, if you guys do decide to get it, uh, drop a like and go get it through my affiliate link in the uh, description because it will help the channel. Uh, I have a lot of plans, but I need to work for it. Okay, so uh, simple packaging. This is the MHQJRH. And... Cool. If you guys don't know, Amazon's return policy is just the best thing I've ever heard of and used. And it's literally like so easy. So I'm not even afraid to buy anything anymore because I know if it's bad, I can just return it. 100% uh, cost, no shipping return cost. It's nice. Specifically why I got this one is that it's on the cheaper side. And um, it looked like it would work pretty well with the system. It, it's going it... to... Okay, so let's get on with the unboxing. So, as you can see so far, pretty nice packaging right on the front. Uh, just slides out, and bam, you get this really simple three piece um, thing. And as you open it, you smell the foam that is holding these devices. And the setup process is very, uh, fairly simple. You get this little bar. You dig this out, and uh, you get this uh, base plate that holds it all. And uh, so, well, something that surprised me, and my expectations went from here to here, out of frame. And um, that is because I th I was expecting these to be all plastic, but oh wait, wrong mic. As you can hear, it's aluminium, and so the quality, the quality expectation, or I was expecting it to be plastic, aluminum, and it's it's really heavy, and th that makes it cool. And so basically, it's really simple. You screw on the base plate. It has some rubber padding, so it doesn't hurt. So there's no vibrations with the GPU and stuff. And it has this little thumb screw right here. You just take that a little off. And bam, and then you screw it on. And uh, this makes it nice, so if you ever have a GPU that is shorter on the motherboard or higher on the motherboard, or essentially in the case, um, but a little, I'm a little worried that it's not going to fit in my case, but I think I can make it work. Uh, there's two different ways to put it in my case, and I'll show you guys right now. In the description, if you hit the link and check out the product, there's a description, and uh, there's a picture that tells you how tall this is. I believe it's 7.7 .7 inches tall, but let's install this in my system. And uh, this is going to get you guys ready for your RTX 30 cards, or you're just looking for a bracket for your current card. I don't know. Alright, so I'll be demonstrating this device on my actually non-sagging RX 570 because this thing is, is as light as paper as expected to be. But here we go, here's the installation. Done! This is perfect. And that's because I know that the RTX uh, 3080, which is the one I'm getting, is going to reach out all the way like to this area. Let me zoom in on this. Okay, as you can see, it is perfectly flush with my current GPU. The RTX 3080 is, I think, the same thickness, 2.5 slots. And so it's literally going to be perfectly flush. But if it is higher, then I can higher it. Or if it's lower, I can lower it as needed to be. For demonstration purposes of what it looks like in the case, I'm just going to install it on uh, my second option. Oh. Shoot. 
Make sure you don't do that when install when it's still installing. So as you can see, um, it's a really nice product. I'm like beyond excited for my 30 series card, and it's going to sag. So I would recommend you get a sag bracket or support bracket. Um, because you don't want your new RTX 30 series to sag. That does not look nice. And even if you have no tempered glass side panel, you don't want your GPU sagging because I don't think that's good for the connector, the PCIe connector. So if you do uh, decide to get this one, be sure to use my link because it supports the channel a lot. And if you're not even going to get this and you enjoyed watching the video, please drop a like. Uh, and subscribe because we're, I have like, let me just say, OD 2021. This is the first time I'm announcing those words, but you're going to hear them a lot in the future uh, leading up to 2020 on because it's going to be insane. Just stay tuned, guys. Um, another link down in the description, join my Discord server. I had just, I just started it. Um, yeah, if you want to join, we can chill in there, ask questions. You can, there's even a section where you can drop down Amazon links and I will review, or I will possibly buy that product so I can review it for you. Whether it's a $20 gaming mice, whether it's a, I don't know, like $60 monitor, I don't know. Just drop, drop the links down in the Discord channel and I will possibly review them. There's a lot of other stuff on there, but that's just an example of one. Uh, but anyways, peace out guys. That was a solid video, not gonna lie. Thumbnail time! Oh, how am I gonna hold this in the light? If you guys uh, care about this card, you can read it. Customer service, 